In this video we will see how to implement a serial ADC controller on a DA0 nano board. The board is this one and we are going to connect our ADC controller using the ADC128 provided by the DA0 nano board. This is the ADC controller and this is the board pinout. We are connecting the clock on the clock input and we are using a clock divider equal to 20. So we, uh, we are going to provide the 2.5 MHz clock to the ADC 128, this one. Then we connect the push button zero, this one to the reset, and the conversion enable and channel select is connected to this switch. The board is provided with eight LED, so we connect the most significant bit of the ADC to the eight bit. In order to check if the ADC is working fine, we use a trimmer, this one, connected in this way. The 3.3 voltage is taken from this pin, and this is the input of the ADC. So, with a screwdriver, we move the screw, and we will see the behavior of the ADC monitoring with a digital multimeter and the LED. Lay out the code, just running Quartus from the Quartus project, start, ok. Let's check the working frequencies under the 50 megahertz. We are working on less than 50 megahertz, so there are no problem. Okay, let's program our FPGA. We are connecting the board using 3.3 provided by the board and multimeter connected on the on the trimmer. So let's see what is the behavior mu moving the screw. One, two, three in binary mode, four, one, zero, zero, go ahead, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and so on. As you can see, the ADC is counting in unsigned mode. And so on. Going ahead, this is about half of the power supply, 1.6, that is about half of 3.3.
jungle. 